The first step is to cut the Ethernet cable with a wire cutter. What I want to have here is just a straight cut in this end and make a straight cut. Just like that. So the second step is to remove the auto jack off by using a UTP cable stripper to uh, remove three inches of the, the Ethernet cable jacket. Give one revolution, that should be fine. And take it out. So once you remove it, just um, uh, check if all the cables, the wires on the inside is not damaged. In this third step is uh, to untwist all the pairs. So let's start with the blue one. So if you are um, repairing a termination uh, where the cable is um, uh, cat six and above, you're gonna see one of these um, plastic on the inside. It, call, it the name of it it's, uh, is spline. So the best way to remove it, it's not using a knife or scissors or anything like that, because you can damage the the wires on the inside of the Ethernet cable. Just to use a wire cutter and cut each wing and twist it. Done. So the fourth step is to uh, place each wires to the keystone jack. In my demonstration, I'm gonna stick with the, um, the standard uh, T568B. So it's gonna be the first line in here. I'm gonna show this in the video later on. So uh, let's go that and uh, start with the blue one. The last step of making or repairing a keystone jack is to punch down each wire by using a punch down tool. So just place the blade uh, on top of the wire and punch it down until you hear uh, a tool snap. Just make sure the cutting tip of the blade is outside of the connector, the, not on the inside. Place the cable the punch down tool on top of the wire and done just like that and do that for all the the wires Sometimes the blade will not cut the wires, uh, but it's gonna be just easily like what I'm doing at the moment. So it's done. All you have to do is just to put the cover on top. And there it is. The keystone termination, it's uh, completed. <laughs> <laughs>